But Revit right. still understands it as existing as anything before the current moment in time, right? New as anything right. created on on the current moment in time, and demolished as anything removed on that current moment in time, right? It's, so it's it's an activity that happens within that timeline. To process that, if you are using Revit, if you are using BIM. Every single design team should be doing this. I've got a lot of my architect friends out there. You are actually the ones who need to hear this more than anything. Right. But keeping, even if you draft everything, you should still keep the model on in the view. Exactly. Is that pretty much my only option? So explain to me again, um, actually, I'll pull up. I'll try and pull up the post too, just so I remember. But uh, explain to me again the phase structure and what you're trying to do. So there's, it's multi-phased. So it's, let's say there's, what, three phases maybe? Just Right. So it's an existing building and we're doing renovation. We're adding in a, we're like filling in a courtyard, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so we're trying to match existing walls for wall height and everything. But our elevations are showing existing building as it is. Mm -hmm. There was a demolition phase where there was some temporary construction going on mm -hmm. to what we're calling phase two, where it is the final, you know, new walls, mm -hmm. permanent walls. So mm -hmm. we want that phase two work to really pop in elevation. Okay. Um, so Got I want to force those to a bolder line by mm -hmm. phase. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's, let's see what we can do here. Why this room's not closing? It's really bothering me. Okay, if I go to manage and up here to phases. <clears throat> so we have existing, new, and you're saying that you have a, uh, let's call, we'll call that phase one and we'll call new construction phase two. Is that kind of what it is? Yes, yep. Okay, so if you want and then you want, let's do this. So let's just create those phases. So let's say all of this is existing. Let's start there. Okay, so all that's existing. Okay, now I'm going to draw this box here. And we'll do another one here. Okay. And these boxes will say our phase one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'll draw a couple boxes over here. I'm trying to get stuff that you can see in elevation. <laughs> so right. I'm just, Got I'm it. Just drawing, I'm just drawing little additions here. Okay. So now these guys were created in phase two, right? So, so we have okay. phase, phase one, we have existing and we have phase two, right? Right. So if we look at our elevation, Okay, in my elevation, I should probably turn off my template. Hold on. There's depth queuing on this template, so I'm just going to turn all that off. Okay, so we're at our south elevation here. So mm -hmm. you'll notice, right? So I'm in phase two, and my phase two work is bolded. The rest of it is existing now. So it's set up as existing. So I'm in phase two as my phase, and I'm set up as previous plus new. Okay, so the way this works is if I go to my phases, I look at my graphic override, sorry, my phase filters. So previous plus new is the one that we're using, right? right so new, right. new is everything created in the phase that the view is set to, okay? So that's, that's by category. So that means that it's gonna be whatever you set for that view is set up, right? Existing okay. is gonna be overridden by your graphic overrides for existing. Right now, phase one and existing are all existing to Revit. Right, okay, right? got it. Yep. Everything, everything existing. And then you'll notice demolish is not showing and temporary is not showing. So then my graphic overrides, right? This is, this is now Revit's way of saying, okay, if something's considered existing, which in our case is phase one and existing conditions, right, these right. are the overrides. If something's new, these are the overrides, right? And so you give, or, or you say by category, which means your view is overriding it, right? Right, right. So then okay. if we if we flip this to phase one, right, then your phase two stuff goes away and your phase one stuff is by category, which means anything I do in here, right? So if I wanted to do a wall pattern 
it'll affect only the new stuff for phase one. So if I just put in a, uh, a solid magenta, right? But if I flip it to right. phase two, phase one and existing are all now considered existing to Revit. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So most likely it was your phase filters or the way the view was set up for those phase filters or someone messed with your graphic overrides and your phase filter conditions that I was just showing you. This is part of the reason why the whole, I'm so adamant about the whole no demo phase thing and, and, and is it's a little confusing in the sense that in our minds, right, existing demo new, like those are concrete phases and moments in time. But um, what you're seeing here is that in, as far as Revit's concerned, there's kind of two things happening. There's your project phases, and this could be called phase zero. It doesn't matter. So now you're not using any terms, new, existing, uh, demo, any of those things. You're just using phases. But Revit right. still understands it as existing as anything before the current moment in time, right? New is anything right. created on, on the current moment in time and demolished as anything removed on that current moment in time right it's, so it's it's an activity that happens within that timeline right and that's why i'm adamant right. about you don't need a demo phase because if i wanted to demo this so i can say you know this guy and this guy were demoed in phase one let's say so they were created in phase zero they were demoed in phase one well right. now it's infilled right there's wall pieces mm -hmm. there but notice these wall pieces are actually existing in my phase two because they were created right. in phase one. But if I flip right. down to phase one, those guys will turn pink. Right. right. Because yep. now they were created in phase one. They're new in phase one. Um, right. Whereas now I can also say previous plus demo, because now what was demolished in this phase? Now I see, I don't need a demo phase. I just need Revit to, to look for what was demolished in this current phase. Right. The only time you need a demo phase is if you're actually constructing something during the demo phase. Right. Right. Which in most cases you're not unless you're doing logistics plans or temporary shoring. Right. Like there's there may be a condition like you're talking about. But in most yeah. cases, you're you're demol demolishing something in new construction and then you're building, you know, you're building the new construction within that same phase. So, right. so it's a, it's it's not, you know, it's 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 the demo is actually not a moment in time. It's an activity that happens in the moment in time. Right. Yep.